Hello friends and welcome to this new Terraform series of the scenario questions. These types of questions you will definitely encounter when you are giving the interview for the Terraform. So I will pick of one questions, a scenario based question in each session and this, this session will be not more than two or three minutes so that you can cover each questions in a very less time. And for the detailed analysis, for the detailed understanding, I am going to provide only those scenario based questions which we already covered in more detail in our Terraform series. So I will place the I button. If you have any understanding or you want to understand in depth in more detail, then you can refer that particular video from my Terraform playlist. Okay. So today's scenario questions, you are managing a complex infrastructure okay with multiple components means that the code that you are writing in writing in the terraform file have the multiple components and you need to ensure that the terraform deploy all the resources in the correct order so this is the key point here the resources needs to deploy in a correct order what steps you take to accomplish this so as you now know that the Terraform has a built-in dependency management system. That system ensures resources are deployed in a correct order. To make sure that the Terraform deploy all the resources in the correct order, you can use the depends on argument. Depends on argument. Okay. If you have any difficulties in understanding the depends on argument, you can refer the I button, which is coming at the top of this video. Okay. So depends on argument in your resource block you have to use. Okay. This argument specify the order in which Terraform should create the resources. Let's take an example. If you have a virtual machines that depends on the network interface, okay, you can use the depends on argument to make sure that the network interface is created before the virtual machine. Okay. So in that case, how you will write a code? In that case, you will write a code like suppose resources for the AWS network interface okay and then you provide some local name here like example okay and then you put all the code for the network interface so this is the network interface that you want to deploy first before creating the AWS instance, you can see. And the, now in the resource of AWS instance, call my EC2, this is the local name that I am assigning. Here you can just do a linking like network interface ID is equal to AWS underscore network underscore interface. And whatever is your local name, this one dot example dot ID. So this will create a linking that this particular interface is linked with in AWS instance is linked with the AWS network interface. Now you have to write the depends on. And here you have to write 
ए डब्ल्यू एस नेटवर्क इंटरफेस डॉट एग्जाम्पल ओके देन यू हैव टू क्लोज इट सो इन दिस एग्जाम्पल द ए डब्ल्यू एस इंस्टेंस रिसोर्स डिपेंड्स ऑन द नेटवर्क इंटरफेस रिसोर्सेज डेटा फॉर्म विल क्रिएट द नेटवर्क इंटरफेस फर्स्ट सो दिस विल बी क्रिएटेड फर्स्ट बिकॉज वी हैव द डिपेंड्स ऑन ऑन द ए डब्ल्यू एस इंस्टेंस वेन द ए डब्ल्यू एस इंस्टेंस गेट क्रिएटेड इट्स फर्स्ट चेक दैट द आई दैट द नेटवर्क इंटरफेस क्रिएटेड और नॉट सो इट विल फर्स्ट क्रिएट द नेटवर्क इंटरफेस देन टू द लिंकिंग एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस एट्रीब्यूट्स ओके सो होप इट्स क्लियर सो दिस टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल डेफिनेटली यू कैन इनकाउंटर इन द इंटरव्यू एंड यू हैव टू टेकल इन दिस वे ओके सो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड कीप लर्निंग हैव ए नाइस डे